back with another Q-tips. Some bachata, you know what I'm saying? Some ah, 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 you know, like all of that. All right, so back with another Q-tips. Same big motor car, but just a bit smoother, you know? So, today we are featuring, or we're having a ride along in my Ferrari 812 and Largo, um, one of 18, one of 18 ever, ever made inside the entire world. The, it's based around a Ferrari 812. Novatech actually modified 18 of these cars to make it the, the Ferrari super fast and Largo. That's why it looks so insane. You know what I'm saying? Um, fun fact. Second, fun fact: um, my Lamborghini SV means super veloce. Super veloce also means super fast. So this is kind of like a SV in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But today's episode of Q to Fridays is going to um, <laughs> is going to be called. Life by design. Hey, that man's doing a wheelie. Lit shit. Okay. Listen, I love when people see the car and then they and they get hyped. You know what I'm saying? They try to race and shit. Do all kind of tricks on bikes and that kind of stuff. Um. So today's episode is called Life by Design. Very very important. Um. I feel like a lot of people don't understand this concept. When it comes to certain things, when it comes to um, starting on a journey, starting a journey, starting you know the path that you actually aspire to be on, um, some people don't really understand what it means by life by design. Okay, so like take a moment and understand that concept, life by design, as far as your life is what you make it, you know what I'm saying, if your life is, it could be whatever, whatever, whatever you want it to be plus more, you know what I'm saying, um, no matter what situation you're coming from and that kind of stuff, you know, obviously there's certain situations that are, are going to be a lot harder to get out of than others, but at the same time, you're put on here, you're put on the planet to then, wait, to then figure it out, um, figure it out means, Whatever you gotta do to pretty much get out of a, a tough situation, that's what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? It's um at times it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can't cry about it, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're put in a situation from birth or whatever, like growing up and that kind of thing, you can't really do anything about it. You just have to man up or girl up, whatever, and get shit done. Get shit done that you could pretty much get you out of that tough situation. You know what I'm saying? So life by design means, to me, is like, manifestation is everything. You know what I'm saying? Manifestation, how you perceive a certain thing that you want to actually accomplish and that kind of thing. And pretty much focusing on energy that brings you to that eventually in the future. You know, and you could be focusing on something and you don't even know it. You know, like, there's been times that I post a, a picture of a car and then, you know, pfft, four, five, six years later, I have that car. Um, like, for example, also, I I thought of my daughter's name four years before I had my daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I was so just, like, stuck on, I'm having a daughter first. Like, I just, I just don't, I see it no other way. You know what I'm saying? Like, my belief in me having a daughter first was so intense that nobody couldn't steer me wrong. I had my daughter's name set four years before I had my daughter I could have had a boy or a girl but I had a girl and I was already ready for that name immediately you know what I'm saying so it's kind of like I'm designing th this life based off of how I envision my my life um, playing out and I don't need I don't need a, a vision board to do that I don't have to have I believe in what I believe in so much as far as how I plan on living and that kind of stuff so much that I don't need 
a board that has things that I want in the future. Like, it's, everything's up here. I want it so bad that I don't need to see it on a board to then believe it. I believe it so much that it's in here and then it can't leave. You know what I'm saying? So everything that I'm actually doing in my everyday, everyday life, that energy is it's somehow getting back to all of those goals that I inspired on. Um, I aspired on accomplishing eventually. Like I, I don't know the time frame and that kind of stuff, but eventually I'll get to a point that, you know, I could, you know, get that car that I want, you know, get that girl that I want, like all these things. And it's just manifestation. Like you believe in that vision so much that nothing can steer you on and nothing can actually alter that based on how much you believe in that one thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a crazy thing to just like change as far as like, like when it comes to mindset, it's like, it's a mindset thing, you know, like once you actually alter your mindset to the point that you, th that you then learn how to manifest these things and like just not doubting yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get that, but I'm going to get it eventually. I don't know how though, but I'm going to put myself in, in a position that that will then come into fruition so I could actually acquire that certain thing that I'm focused on, you know what I'm saying? It could be a house. It could be um, a girl. It could be um, a job. It, it could be anything that that you plan on accomplishing in the future. You know what I'm saying? Even like how um, Drake had Drake had took a picture in front of a phantom, like I think like ten years ago or some shit. Ten years ago, he took a picture in front of a phantom. All right, Rolls Royce phantom. And that same phantom that he took a picture of like 10 years ago was gifted to him by someone the other day, I think for his birthday or some shit. That same exact phantom that he took a picture in front of 10 years ago. So that's why I feel like it's very important to like take photos. You know what I'm saying? Like take content, like just make content. Like, cause you never know when they're gonna be used again. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I believe that Taking photos is so important because it's like you're freezing time based off of a certain moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, even when I was working at Target, I'm still taking photos because I just like taking pictures and that, and that kind of stuff. And I feel like when a person is pretty much missing out on all those things, they're kind of like, they're not letting things that are able to be manifested start to manifest. You know what I'm saying? Like, take, take pictures of things that you like. You might look at that, that photo four or five years from now and be like, oh shit, like, I was into that like what the fuck you know um like i have posted a picture back in like 2013 i think of a lamborghini aventador and i was like yo i'm gonna have one of these in the future i, I don't know how i'm gonna have it but i'm gonna have this in the future or i need one of these in the future is, is what i said i never said how i'm gonna get it or i don't know i'm working at i'm working at target actually before that time I was working at a warehouse getting paid $620 salary every two weeks, working over a hundred hours every two weeks. But I'm thinking about shit that costs four or $500,000. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, but I like it. I like it and, I, and I'm gonna just, you know, whatever, whatever opportunity that I have to pretty much get ahead in any kind of way, it could be money wise, it could be, you know, getting into like a, a position wise, something that could pr that, that could propel me forward to get me closer to things that I want. I'm going to take it. And I always take an opportunity. If I fail at it, cool. If I don't like it, cool. But always take advantage of, of opportunities that are presented to you because you don't know what that opportunity is going to do for you. You know what I'm saying? That's that opportunity that could probably propel you to the point that you're getting closer to that, that manifestation goal. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. So I've never turned out opportunities as I was growing up because I don't know what's gonna come out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I probably like it, I probably don't, but at the same time, I'm gonna actually just try it to the point that if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't, then I'll just put it on to the side if I don't like it, whatever. But at the same time, I'm trying to take advantage of a situation. I'm trying to take advantage of the opportunity that is presented to me because good things might come out of it that I don't even know about. But I'm gonna stick around and find out. You know what I'm saying? 
life by design. So as you're growing, everything that you want, you could get. Everything. Anything and everything. Everything is for sale. Everything is there for your taking. You know what I'm saying? Abundance is key. All these things, life by design. I designed this shit. I designed how my skin looks. You know what I'm saying? I designed how how um my image is, like how how good my my skin is. Like I take care of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Life by design. Like I'm actually I'm actually putting towards time to make myself how I envision myself in any kind of way as far as how I look, how much money I have, all that stuff. I want to make more money that I got to fucking do more. I got to, you know, take advantage of more opportunities and that kind of stuff. I want to look better. Cool. I got to go to the gym. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do this. Cool. I want to smell better. Uh, I got to find some kind of products that could pretty much benefit me based off of like my skin type. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to look better as far as clothes wise. Cool. Shop at different places that pretty much is, is appealing to you. Everything is by design. No one controls your life but you. Everything that you do or everything that you don't do is on you. Things that you take advantage of and things that you don't take advantage of, it's on you. You know what I'm saying? Everything is on you. You are your own narrator. Like, you make the narrative. You. So if you ever think that somebody else is in control of what you have going on, then that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have full control. Free will. That's what all humans have. Everything is free will. You have a choice on how you, you do things. You know what I'm saying? You could be in a car. You have a choice to go fast and not go fast. If you go fast, obviously there's consequences. If you don't, if you don't go fast, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Like everything is free will. You have a choice as to if you want to fuck up or if you don't want to fuck up. You have a choice on if you want to grow as a person. Then you will be doing things to grow more. You will read more. You will do more. You will do more research. Take advantage of more opportunities. You, you, you would do things that's based around growth. You know what I'm saying? Life by design. Everything is how you want it based on your liking and that kind of shit. But you can't make it seem as if you're not in control. Because you are in full control of everything that you have going on. Just don't lose that aspect of, I don't control my own life. Like, if it happens, it happens. You know what I'm saying? The life by design. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why even like whenever I meet like a, an old friend or like I run into an, an old friend and I'm like, yo, so what's going on? Like, what's good? You know, same shit, different day. I walk away eventually. Like, e eventually, once they stop talking, I'll walk away because I'm not going to sit there and talk to a person that have, has a fixed mindset on every day is the same. Every single day is the same day. Far from it. It's a new 24 hours. New shit can get accomplished. All these things, new shit, new new day, new goals, new this, new that. Everything is fresh. So you got to get into the mindset that tells you like, yo, listen, like you are in full control. If you're in a bad situation, do things that can help you get out of that situation. Don't beg for money. Get a fucking job. Save up. You know, it's save money. Don't don't spend money on dumb shit. And then reinvest in certain things that can pretty much propel you to get ahead. You know what I'm saying? Life by design. You're in control of everything. So if your decisions are your decisions. If you choose not to decide, then that's your choice not to decide about something. And then eventually, this could be you. Design, baby. Q-Tip Fridays. I'm going to holler at you guys. Peace out next Friday.